Hey everyone, this is Dave Korsunski from Heads Up, and in this video, we're going to show you how to integrate the Keto Mojo device with the Heads Up Health software. So, first thing, if you don't have your Keto Mojo Bluetooth connector, you can order one from the Keto Mojo website. And you can see here the Bluetooth connector just fits right inside the meter, right where the test strip goes. So, step one is ensure you have a Keto Mojo Bluetooth connector. The next thing you're going to need is the Keto Mojo app, which you can download from Apple or from Google. Now, once you've got the Keto Mojo app installed, you can open it up and let's take a quick tour through the Keto Mojo app. You'll notice at the top here you've got tabs for ketones and for blood glucose. So that's where you're going to be able to visualize your historical readings. You'll also notice the gear up in the top right corner. A few things to note here. One is you can specify units, you can specify date format, you can clear data from the Keto Mojo app for troubleshooting purposes. You can also export your data to CSV and occasionally if you're having trouble we may need you to send a debug file. And That's what this last button is and then in the bottom right you'll see the version number. So just make sure you're always using the latest version of the app especially if you're having issues. So with that in mind, let's do a quick sync. So I'm going to insert the Bluetooth connector into the Keto Mojo device, and then I'm just going to tap the sync button right here. As soon as I do that, the app is going to make a Bluetooth connection with the meter, and it will sync readings onto the app. So I've got two new readings, and I've got a blood glucose reading of 84, and a ketone reading of 0.9. So once you have synced your readings into the Keto Mojo app, you're also going to notice this button down here, the upload button. And that's going to allow you to upload your readings to Heads Up Health, where you'll be able to graph your historical data, compare your Keto Mojo data with other metrics you're collecting. So if you don't have a Heads Up Health account, you can download the Heads Up Health app onto your phone. You can also sign up online at headsuphealth.com through a web browser. So let's take a quick look at the Heads Up Health app. You can see that my blood glucose and ketones have now updated. I've also got some aura data. I've also got some chronometer data on here. So let's go ahead and add the glucose ketone index onto our mobile dashboard. And you just tap the plus button here, choose add tiles, and we're going to add the glucose ketone index, which is under metabolism. And I'm going to specify Keto Mojo. And now you'll see I have the GKI on my dashboard as well. So let's open up one of these tiles. Let's open up glucose. If your blood glucose, ketone, or GKI tiles are not showing Keto Mojo data, just open up the settings tab here and make sure you've got the source set to Keto Mojo. The default is manual. So if you don't see Keto Mojo data, that's the first thing to check for each of these tiles. And then I'm going to open up glucose. And you can see across the top here, I can toggle through my individual historical readings. And then down below here, I can graph my data over a week, over a month, over the course of a year. And then I can use these left and right arrows to toggle back to the previous month or the previous year, whatever the case may be. And then down below, we're going to show you the average, the max, and the min for the current month being displayed and the average max and min for the previous month. A couple of the things here, if you do need to review all of your historical readings, they are here on the data tab. And so you can see all of your readings here in list mode. And then you can also connect up all your other sources onto the Heads Up Health app just by using the Add Source option here. And you've got some sources which are available through the Human API Connect, and that includes Fitbit, MyFitnessPal, Garmin, Nokia Withings, and a, a, a host of other sources are here. And then you'll see some of our custom integrations down here, Aura, Ketonix, Level, and other sources. So that's how you can link up other sources and really see the big picture of your health when you've got your Keto Mojo data alongside all of your other health metrics. Just a few more things. If you are accessing Heads Up Health from a web browser, you can do so at headsuphealth.com. And you can see here I've got a very similar dashboard to mobile. 
so you can create a mobile dashboard and a web dashboard. I'm going to just repeat the same process. Here's how you would add the glucose ketone index onto your dashboard. And again, just make sure you've got it set to Keto Mojo. So you can create your own custom dashboards just like mobile on the web. You can connect up all your devices and apps here. You can also sync up your medical records from over 30,000 providers. Now there's a few things you can do in the web app with Keto Mojo that you can't do in the mobile app. First you'll notice this pencil here. And that's actually going to allow you to edit Keto Mojo readings. So when you click on the pencil you'll come to this screen and there's a few important things to note here. So I've got my Keto Mojo glucose readings. First is I can click the button to edit readings. And I may want to mark that this was a fasting reading and I may want to add some notes here as well. So you can actually add notes and tags to your Keto Mojo readings inside the Heads Up Health web app. You can also soft delete a reading. If for some reason you got an erroneous reading or someone else in your family used your Keto Mojo and you just don't want that showing up anymore, you can do a soft delete. So that reading is now gone. And if you want to bring it back, just click on Show Hidden Readings and then you can restore it. So I'm going to restore that most recent reading. A couple other things here inside the web app is if you click the graph icon, you will be able to look at your historical Keto Mojo readings over any time horizon. So you can pick any date range you want. You can also start to compare different readings. So here's my Keto Mojo data, blood glucose readings, and maybe I want to compare that to my weight over the past seven days. So this allows you to start trending data. Also inside Heads Up Health is the ability to connect your medical records. And you can do that here, connect data, medical records. And that's going to allow you to ensure your cholesterol, your hemoglobin A1C, your inflammation, all the numbers you want to keep an eye on as you adopt a low-carb ketogenic lifestyle are moving in the right direction. So that covers just about everything with our Keto Mojo integration. If you have questions, just shoot us an email, support at headsuphealth.com. Thanks.